this week's Northwood Adventure, Shane Lee flies into the past of the childhood home of Charles Lindbergh. Characters from the era tell stories from the time at Living History Day at the Charles A. Lindbergh Historic Site in Little Falls. Let's take a trip back to 1918. Charles Lindbergh is 16 years old and living in Little Falls with his family, but no one can seem to find him. We're looking for him. He's got some chores that he needs to do. He's got to help me with some laundry. Laundry was just one of the hands-on experiences people had at Living History Days. Here today, history comes to life. It's in full color. It's right in front of you. And we're showing that the Lindberghs were people, their neighbors were people just like us with the same concerns, same problems, same successes that we have today, uh, just wearing different clothes and working with different tools. The Lindbergh family moved into this house in 1906 after the original building on the property burned down when it was three years old. And when their house started burning, the first thing Mrs. Lindbergh wanted saved from the house was her piano. And I guess it took four men to muscle this piano out to the front lawn while that house was on fire. Stereoscopes helped pass the time when the family was not playing the piano or listening to the record play. But it wasn't all singing and playing. Charles also had a lot of work to do, including digging a well to overcome the challenge of indoor plumbing in a Minnesota winter. He plumbed the water to come here to this tank in the kitchen, and the cold water comes in the top, and then there's a pipe back here that leads it through the firebox. The plumbing wasn't the only concern during the winter, as Charles slept outside on a porch with only screens in the windows. Charles stands next to that stove and gets as warm as he possibly can, and then he puts on Mr. Lindbergh's bearskin coat. The family left the house in 1920 when Charles went to college, and the family turned the building over to the state of Minnesota in 1931 to protect the home from destruction by Lindbergh fans. A lot of them wanted to take a piece of Lindbergh history back home with them, so they, they broke up the furniture, they took rocks out of the foundation, they wrote their names on the walls. The home remains intact and the history is truly alive. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.